हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इनियाक्सियल एंड बायोक्सियल क्रिस्टल्स लेट्स वेगेन अन आइसोट्रोपी क्रिस्टल व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ अन आइसोट्रोपी क्रिस्टल अनआइसोट्रोपिक मीन्स दिज क्रिस्टल्स आर डिपेंड अपॉन द डिरेक्शन्स डिपेंडेंट ऑन डिरेक्शन इफ वी कंसिडर द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ क्रिस्टल लाइक थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स लाइक दिस सो दीज फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आर डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंट डिरेक्शंस ऑफ इन केस ऑफ अन आइसोट्रोफी क्रिस्टल वाई वी ऑब्जर्व लाइक दिस ड्यू टू द आटमिक अरेन्जमेंट in case of anisotropic crystal the arrangement of atoms are different in different directions of that anisotropic crystal due to this the physical properties for anisotropic crystal are different in different directions so we call it as it is dependent on direction the anisotropic crystals are divided into two categories one is uniaxial crystal and another one is biaxial crystal as its name indicate uniaxial crystals have one optic axis and biaxial crystals have two optical axis we have to understand what is optical axis let us consider a crystal a rhombohedric crystal that the crystal uh, may be calcite this is the rhombohedric crystal structure per calcite at the top corner that enter angle is 102 degree this angle 78 degree that angle also 78 degree and these uh, corners where the creation of angles just like this we call it as blond corners these corners are called blond corners and the line passing through that top blond corners the line passing through that top blond corners is called optic axis this is called optic axis so in case of uniaxial crystals it has one optic axis and in case of biaxial crystals these are two optic axis are present next point if a ray of unpolarized light is incident on that of uniaxial crystal then there are two refracted rays which are called ordinary rays 
known as O rays and extraordinary rays E rays. If we consider a crystal and unpolarized light is incident on that of a crystal. So, after that of refraction, we have two refracted rays. One of that refracted rays is called E ray, extraordinary ray. Another is called O ray, that is ordinary ray. Why these are naming like extraordinary ray and ordinary rays? on the basis of how these rays are uh, observe the laws of refraction. O rays obey the laws of refraction. The rays which obey the law of refraction we call it as O rays and E rays does not obey the laws of refraction. Here O rays obey the laws of refraction and E rays uh, does not obey the law of refraction. Same case, in case of biaxial crystals, it has the uh, two refracted rays, but uh, these two refracted rays are extraordinary rays. Since these are extraordinary rays, so they do not follow the law of refraction. Law of refraction as the incident ray, refracted ray and normal to that of uh, plane of incident all are in the same plane. Another one is Snell's law, these two are the laws of refraction. So, the extraordinary rays do not obey the law of refraction and these uh, two E rays we obtained in case of biaxial crystals. Come to the first point. Since in case of uniaxial crystal, it has two ray, one is E ray, another ray, one is O ray, extraordinary ray and uh, ordinary ray. Ordinary ray obey the law of refraction and extraordinary ray do not obey the law of refraction. But when these rays are passes through that of optic axis, in uniaxial crystal, it has one optic axis. So, in that of optic axis, the O ray and E ray travel in same velocity. In that of optic axis, in this direction, the two refracted rays travel with same velocity. As we say in biaxial crystal, it has only two refracted rays and these two refracted rays are E rays they do not obey the laws of refraction, they also travel with same velocity in that of direction of optic axis. Next, uniaxial crystals further classified as two category, one is positive crystal and another one is negative crystal. On the basis of the refractive index of E ray is greater than that of O ray. In case of positive crystal, the refractive index of E ray mu of E ray is greater than that of refractive index of O ray ordinary ray in case of positive crystals. So, refractive index is related to the velocity obviously velocity for that of extraordinary ray is less than that of velocity of ordinary ray. This is in case of positive crystal. So, the example of a positive crystal is quartz crystal, quartz crystal. In that of quartz crystal, it has the two refracted rays, one is extraordinary, another one is ordinary. 
so the refractive index of uh, extraordinary ray is greater than that of ordinary ray means the velocity of that of extraordinary rays is less than the velocity of ordinary ray in same manner in case of negative crystal the refractive index of e ray is less than that of o ray the refractive index of e ray is less than the refractive index of o ray means the velocity of e ray is greater than the velocity of o ray here the example of a negative crystal is calcite crystal calcite crystal are the examples of negative crystals next for biaxial crystals as we say it has two optic axis and uh, two refracted rays that are uh, only extraordinary rays these rays uh, don't obey the law of refraction so the examples of biaxial crystals mica topaz argonite aragonite these are the examples of biaxial crystals so here with the help of this video lecture we understand the classification of uh, anisotropy crystals so what are anisotropy crystals as we say these are dependent in direction in different directions the physical properties of uh, that the crystal is different so that type of crystal we call anisotropic they are class classified in axial crystal and biaxial crystals one optical axis there is two optical axis what is optical axis next if a ray of on polarized light is incident then it is uh, divided into two refracted rays one is ordinary ray another one is extraordinary rays ordinary rays obey law of refraction extraordinary rays don't obey law of refraction but in case of biaxial crystal it has uh, two refracted rays that are uh, only extraordinary rays so these are don't follow the law of refraction uniaxial crystals for the divided into two category one is positive crystal another one is negative crystal in case of positive crystal the refractive index of e ray is greater than that of o ray means the velocity of e ray is less than the velocity of o ray same for that of negative crystal refractive index of extraordinary ray is less than the refractive index of ordinary ray means the velocity of extraordinary ray is greater than that of velocity of ordinary ray example of uh, positive crystal quartz crystal example of negative crystal calcite crystal in case of biaxial crystal the examples are mica topaz argonite so with this useful and uh, informative notes let me wind up the session thank you